hey, I promise you this will be the last installment because I'm getting tired of talking to you, but I want you, I, I'm real excited. This is this is my jam, my peanut butter, my jam, my butter, my whatever, whatever, right? This is everything to me because it's Melissa, it's Melissa McBride, so it's everything. So anyways, um, my photo up with Melissa. So I meet Melissa first and then my photo op was later on. So I go online to meet her and of course it's my turn next. And right before me, or sorry, yeah, it's my turn next. And right before me, there's a girl in front of me who came up. So I missed my, my photo op with Melissa and Madison Lintz, who played her daughter on the show before she was killed off. Because Melissa and Madison had a duo together. And she goes, I missed it. Can you grab Madison and that can I do it really quickly? So of course, she's like, okay, sure. So she grabbed Madison. So I had to stop right where I was. I was next in line. They stopped me and said, we're going to go grab Madison. Hold on a second. So I grabbed Madison to do the photo. And then at the last second, she goes, okay, but I also have one for Madison alone. So she kicked Melissa off to the side. So Melissa came and literally stood next to me. I was leaning against the table like this. And she was leaning next, like right where my arm was, our arms were like touching. And she was like, guess I'm not wanted. And she was staying next to me for a couple of minutes. I'm like, you're right here. Like you're, you're right here. You're hanging out with me. What is, what is life? Again, what is life? So I'm like, yep, yeah, guess you're kicked out, right? And she kind of just stood next to me. And then the girl laughed, Madison laughed, and then it was back to just photos with Melissa. So then Melissa goes up, and then I go up in line, and then she, like, hugs me, and I hug her back. And we take a picture, and she kind of rubs my back and, and, and said something. And I forget what it was because it was so long ago, but it was... So I'm freaking out. I hang out with Michelle after that. We're both fans going, crying, screaming, feeling all the feels. Um, so then I go back to my hotel, we have dinner, I'm on cloud nine, life is great, life is good. I go to bed. Tons of stuff happened in between, but irrelevant. I wake up the next day, I meet, oh, and in between that, of course, I've met, I met a ton of my Twitter friends that weekend as well, which is totally awesome. That's another story that if you want me to tell, I can. It, I met a lot of people, it was great. But Sunday rolls around, and of course, like, I get up and immediately go for my photo op with um, Melissa like literally all I had time for was getting up changing and going to my photo walk because I had to go back find my mom and leave to get to catch her plane to come back home so I get there I get in line for the photo op and of course it's like insane the photo op because there's tons of people who want it so I get in line and I'm waiting in line and then I go up and immediately like they kind of squeeze me in like they take me and squeeze me both of them because I put my because Norman's on this side and Melissa's on this side, so I put my arms around both of them and they literally squish me in. And their heads are like right here, like it's literally like a little sandwich. It was like so cool. It was amazing. Um, then she's like, "There you are," because she remembered me from one day to the next. So I was just like, <sighs> "Like I needed to hear that. Like I needed to hear that you remembered me. It just needed to all kind of come." to play so that was beautiful that she remembered me and she like they squished me in and pulled me Melissa pulled me real close and it was like it was sorry I heard something upstairs like there may or not be a ghost in my house so I'm just gonna throw that out there this is like real life footage of hearing like a weird noise in my house and being a little freaked out so bear with me anyways um so obviously, like I said, I go in line, I'm paranoid right now. So I go in line and I take my photo up with Melissa and it's really, really like Melissa and Norman, it's awesome. They pull me in close and I have these and she kind of rubs my back as I leave. And I'm just like, I sure enough get out of line. I talk to Michelle a little bit more and then I say I have to go because I have to meet my mom. She's texting me like, are you done? Are you done? And let's go. We have to go. We have to get to the airport. We have to catch the plane and go. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm coming. So I say goodbye to Michelle because Michelle was somebody who I spent most of the weekend with because like, yes, I knew other people at the con, but like not as close knit as I am now with some of them. So obviously it's a little different, but like I said, um, I met a ton of people. Um, I cannot tell you the things that Melissa said to me, obviously like I have it on film because it's on like my YouTube channel, but the things that Melissa said to me, my very first meeting. That was 2013, okay? I will never, nothing will ever beat the first time you meet a celebrity for the first time because like I said, you have no expectations. You don't know what to expect, right? You just hope that it's an amazing experience and you know it's probably gonna be amazing because you're meeting your favorite person in the whole world for the first time. You have just you just know it's gonna be good. So obviously, like I said, I had no expectations. I went in there just 
I'm going to meet Melissa and that's like all that I could ask for. Like I'm happy. So of course you're like, okay, cool. Like, I don't know what else to expect, but I'm, it's going to be good. Now that was 2013. That was my very first time I met Melissa at Walker Soccer Con. It is now March of 2017. And of course I've gone to see, meet Melissa 2013. I went to Kentucky, I believe in March of 2014, I drove to Kentucky to meet her in Lexington. Then in 2014 again, I went back to Walker Stalker Con in Atlanta at the end of October and met her again with my friend. So now, no, yeah, so I went in March, I went twice. In the year 2014, I saw Melissa twice in March and then in October again. 2015. I went um, to Walker Soccer Con again in Atlanta um, solo and just shared a hotel room and met some other people from Twitter. Last year I went solo, took, just stayed in my own hotel by myself, met up with people at the con, had a good time. And 2017, this year, it's at the end of um, October again, Halloween weekend, always is. And... I'm going. I've already bought my ticket. Melissa hasn't even been announced yet, but she usually goes every year. But I already bought my ticket. I already booked my hotel because it's the same hotel the last three years. The very first year was a different hotel and in a different venue. Um, but since 2014, it's been the same one, I think. Yeah. I think so. Anyways, um, like I said, so I've gotten used to transportation and how to get there and stuff. So now I'm going solo because I don't want to drag people who don't want to spend that money to go every single year. Um, I don't want to drag my mom all the time because I feel bad, nor do I want to drag my same friend who's already been there if she doesn't want to go again. Um, cause I just meet up with now that I've become more expert on Twitter, I've developed more relationships and friendships on Twitter with people. So I go there, I fly, I travel solo, but I'm never actually solo at the con, if that makes sense. I always meet up with people. I'm always going out for dinner and drinks with people. I'm never truly alone at the con. Um, I just have like, either I share a hotel room or I'm by myself, but the traveling is always alone. That's fine. Like I don't care. And then um, staying in a hotel room, if I financially can swing it, then I will. Like I said, I finished school now, so I don't have to worry about tuition. So I'm able to do that on my own and not have to worry about it. Um, but again, I would do it all for Melissa. Like if Melissa went to a different con, I would go. Melissa doesn't do a lot of conventions um, and that's fine. Like I, that's her choice and I'm okay with that. Like I said, she does um, Atlanta every year and I'm thankful and blessed that she even does that every year. Um, like I said, if she would go somewhere else, I probably would go just to experience a different convention, seeing her in a different city. I probably would still go because like I said, financially, I'm, I have a little more flexibility with my money now than I did before. So I probably would still go to a different convention just to see her somewhere. But like, it's like a, I call it like the yearly pilgrimage to um, Atlanta because it's like my second home. I know that city now at like the back of my hand. I know how to get around that city. I know where everything is in that city. Um, it's crazy because I do because I've gone there every single year since 2013 So I'm very familiar with the area. I'm very familiar with it And it's kind of like a yearly pink a yearly pilgrimage because I get to see Melissa who is my like everything I love her to pieces. Um, and she's like my heart and so um, I get to see her every year and then I get to see a lot of my Twitter friends that I adore to pieces and because of Melissa and the show has have allowed me to bond with these people and I'm so grateful. I get to see them every year. I get to see Melissa. It's a good time. It's like a little trip away from reality. I get to have fun. I get to be the total nerd fangirl that I am and not be judged for and like I care anyways but um, I get to enjoy it. have fun with people who have very similar interests as me so I'm really like I just I adore going and like I said every year has been a different element when I've met Melissa. Um, every year since the first year, I've decided to go the full weekend. Sometimes I'll even go to the con on a Friday, but um, I I think 2015, I stayed for two or three days longer than the actual con so that I could tour Atlanta to see some of the places that they filmed at for The Walking Dead, which was really, really cool because I was able to see kind of some of the scenes and where they filmed stuff. So we kind of just rented a car and drove around Atlanta and just saw some of the areas they filmed that, which were kind of spooky, especially when it got dark and it was at night. It was actually really, really cool. Um, and like I said, um, the amount of photo ops I've received over the years with Melissa. Each experience with Melissa is amazing. Um, I usually go up twice to her table now. I'll go on the Saturday and then I'll go on the Sunday. Um, my very first thing, I'll get up super, super early. I go in line to get to the con. The con hasn't even opened yet, but I'm one of the first few to get into the con. I 
book it to Melissa's table because she's a first, she's an end all be all. If I don't get to do anything else that weekend, if I can at least get to Melissa's table and talk to her, then I'm good because she's very, very popular now. So I also do VIP. I don't do general admission anymore because general admission is just too long of a way. It's too much. You can't really do much with general admission anymore, sadly. So I'm always VIP. Um, if they have VIP, Melissa specific VIP, then I'll do that one. They haven't done it in a couple years now, but I'll always do VIP. My goal one day is to maybe to get to gold. I'll never get to platinum because that's insane. But maybe one day when um, I've paid off my school loans and I have a better stable, with like more hours at my job uh, with more experience, and I can get to the gold and experience that one day. Who knows, right? So like I said, that but this year I've already bought just a regular VIP. Um, because I, if I can get in Melissa's line early enough, I'm always guaranteed to see her because I'm VIP and I get there really, really quickly. Um, and like I said, I still give gifts to Melissa every year. I give her a different gift, whether I've made it, I've created it on like a, a different website or I've bought it, um, painted it. I've done a ton of different things gift wise. Every single year, Melissa, I have to give her something because it's just, I can't thank her enough for all the tweets that she's given me and everything she's done for me over the years. So I really have to kind of, um, say thank you for that. That's the best way I know how. Every experience has been amazing. Like I said, nothing will beat the 2013, the very first time I met her. But in 2016 um, was probably one of the most special because she kind of spoke to my heart a little more um, than, than in past years. Um, the one in Kentucky was also amazing because I got a full, she actually, in Kentucky, she, I also have a video on that. If you want to see my meeting of my video in Kentucky, it's also on my YouTube channel. Um, it got cut off short because, um, she saw that I was a filming and like my friend panicked and shut the thing off. So she stopped filming after a certain point, but like a good chunk of it's on there. Um, she came around the table, walked around the table to where you could get to the crowd, came around the table and came out of the table to give me a full body hug and then go back around. And like I said, the whole video is on, on my YouTube channel. So I'm not going to speak about the whole situation because you can see the bulk of what was said on my video on my channel. But, um, that was awesome. The over the table hug was cool too, but like you want like a full body hug. And that was like my goal. I'm like, Oh, one of these days I want to get a full body hug from Melissa. And sure enough, she came around the table and in a couple months after that, after 2013 meeting, a couple months after that, when I went to Kentucky because I met her in November of 2013. I think it was February or March of 2014 that I went to Kentucky and met her and she gave me a huge hug around the table, which was really cool. And I ended up driving. I drove five hours straight from where I live in Canada to Kentucky just to meet her. And that was totally worth it. And she's only there Saturday because she had to go on a show on the Sunday. So she's only doing the convention on the Saturday. And the lineup was on. I waited almost all day to meet her and to see her. And it was totally worth it. I would do it again. And she was even like, why are you here? It's so far away. I'm like, it's still closer than Atlanta. So um, five hours closer than Atlanta. So it's worth it. But um, like I said, every year has been magical. Every year has been so amazing. Um, the fact that I can build a relationship with somebody like that is amazing because I built um, years and years and years. Um, like I said, Melissa has put up with a lot of my stupid shit, not needless to say, um, and still come out of it um, very kind towards me, loving, sending me love all the time, appreciating everything I've done. And like I said, it I can never really emphasize enough how important it is how important she is to me because Melissa is somebody who has changed my life for the better and I don't know if I can ever truly get this on camera because it's kind of weird to like put how I feel in my heart to words because the way I feel for Melissa it's like not just a celebrity I admire and look up to but she's also somebody who is in my heart like I look at her like I care about her like she's somebody in my family a close friend um she is somebody who is very important to me and like I said um my yearly pilgrimage I would literally only go just to see her like last year I made it like all about Melissa I only did photo ops that Melissa were in I didn't do any other photo ops with any other celebrities I only did the ones that she was in because I really wanted to make it the year of Melissa and like I said it was a really good decision I made this year, I don't know what they're going to offer photo op wise, but I still know I'm going to buy as many photo ops possible with Melissa because 
those are things and memories I have to look back on and those are things I love to keep. And like I said, um, those, those were some amazing memories. And like I said, I can't put into words how I feel about Melissa because it, first of all, it's very private too. Um, the things that she's done for me and, and all of that. But on top of that, it's very hard to even put it into words because how I, it, like, it's hard because the way I feel, it's hard to put it into words for Melissa. But um, like I said, everything that happened over the last four and a half years that made me become a huge fan, I'm grateful for. I wouldn't take back a single minute. So like I said, people are brought into your lives for a reason, right? So like I said, I met amazing people because of her and I'm just grateful for her. So um, yeah, that's all I can really say. Um, meeting Melissa and having her in my life has been a very amazing one. And my life would have been definitely different if it wasn't for Melissa. So um, like I said, she is so important to me. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say about that. So thanks for watching. I know it's kind of a long video, but there's, I literally left out a ton of stuff, like a ton of stuff because like I could be here for days if I were to talk about all the things Melissa did for me and all the tweets and things and everything that she said and done. I just, so, um, but yeah, like I said, um, thank you for watching and I hope it made sense and that you enjoyed it. So Bye.